Hi again everyone. Uh, in this section we're going to be looking at supplying electricity, whether it's to remote locations or to cities. We're going to learn about how electricity is sent through transmission lines without losing too much power. Now power is distributed from electricity generators into the cities and remote locations through something that we call the electricity grid, or just the grid. So the electricity is produced at a power station, and it'll be generated at several thousand volts, with several thousand amperes of current. These terms are a little unfamiliar to you at the moment. We'll get onto them later. Now the electrical signal is transformed to a signal that has a, a few particular attributes to it. We say that the signal is a very high voltage signal and a very low current signal. You're probably familiar with the terminology high voltage when we're talking about things like you know high voltage power lines. You're probably not so familiar with low current but like I said, we'll get to that a bit later. Now the voltage of these high voltage power lines is typically on the order of about 330,000 volts, which is a very large number of volts indeed. This is stepped down to a lower voltage using various electrical devices. And at these lower voltages, it's used in the home. Now you may even have heard what sort of voltage we use in the power mains. That is, the voltage that we get when we plug something into an electrical socket. So the mains electricity has a voltage of 240 volts. In different countries, we might have a different mains voltage. The three parts of an electrical socket correspond to an active wire, a neutral wire, and an earth or ground wire. We'll get onto what these mean later on as well. Now, not all remote communities are able to be connected to the mains power supply. That is the power supply used in large cities. So some communities use diesel power generators such as this one. They might also use solar cells in order to produce electricity. Portable generators will produce far less energy than power stations. They're usually fueled by things like gasoline. So these portable generators are able to produce less electricity for a much smaller community. Now, due to the ease of use of electricity, it doesn't look like we're going to stop using it anytime soon. It will, looks like it's going to continue to be the dominant power source for the foreseeable future. Now, the source of electricity in the future, that is where we get the energy from, is less certain. Remember, right now, we usually use coal power or nuclear power in order to generate electricity. In the future, we might find other sources of energy that we can convert to electricity, perhaps more efficiently, or more safely. So less reliance on fossil fuels, as we run low on fossil fuels, is leading to an increased number of other generators. Right now, nuclear generators in particular are becoming more common. One possible source of electricity in the future that we haven't really mastered in the current time is the nuclear fusion reactor. And this differs from an ordinary nuclear reactor. So a nuclear fusion reactor uses hydrogen for fuel instead of uranium. We can extract hydrogen from seawater with a fairly simple chemical process. The thing about fusion reactors is that they don't produce radioactive waste in the same way that uranium reactors do. There is, however, one small problem. We haven't invented yet. The reaction cannot yet be controlled. So right now, if we were to create a nuclear fusion reaction, we would need temperatures so high that the reactor itself wouldn't really be able to survive. If we wanted, we could probably make a nuclear fusion bomb, which uses hydrogen fuel in order to produce huge amounts of energy, but we can't really control that and use it to produce electricity. So that's the end of this section. We've learned about electricity transmission, how we transmit electricity along lines at high voltage to arrive at cities or remote communities. And we've also looked at what might happen to electricity in the future. Let's go on to some questions.